Maggie, what you doing? In the mornings, I usually eat makurobi. It has almonds, hazelnuts, walnuts, sunflower seeds, oat flakes. There's zero effort required and it's not crazy sweet. So I'm a big fan of that. And then I usually make some instant coffee, Maxim specifically the mocha blend. I don't let this boil all the way because I want to be able to drink my coffee immediately. So I usually just wait for it to get hot. And I also take this in and give it to you too. Uh, flavor jelly with probiotics. Mm. Smells good. Thank you. Do want some eggs. Check our lard. Cold egg, hot water in. Temperature gap. When you're done boiling, get rid of all the hot water immediately. Add cold water temperature gap. I got this from a dollar store. It's so scary. A pen? Yeah. A pen? The way you're saying it is halfway between pin and pen. Oh, pin? Pin. Pin? Yeah. Is this a raw egg? This is a raw egg. The bottom, there's a spot, a little bit of space. And if you make a hole, mm -hmm. then the air can go out and it doesn't like crack crack and it makes it easier to peel the skin off too. This is the one we made yesterday. Mm -hmm. The color of the shell is completely different. No. It doesn't spin. <laughs> but again, this is the one that it I did. It looks like this one is like the master break dancer and this one's still learning. This? Mm -hmm. uh, so you can compare easily. I boiled it with cold water mm. even though I made holes. Yeah. Um, I think it's still difficult to peel the skin off the shell. Mm. I need to drink my coffee before I actually do things. Okay. Coffee time. Coffee time. I put cereal and oatmeal in a yogurt and maybe some car apples. Mm -hmm. If I have apples and just eat it. Tuna is so healthy. That's my breakfast. It is already pretty sweet, so I don't add anything else. Super easy. Egg. One of the easy way is like put an egg in a circle jar with a lid with water and it shake it. Eggs. We can try with this one to see if it goes. Do it. You might fail. Do it, June. Do it, June. He's swimming. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Maybe not a good idea. There's not even a mark on the egg. Hi. Someone's hungry. Hi. Hmm. Maybe too much water. I feel like we're just abusing this egg. Let's abuse more. No, it's just spinning. This is too small. It's really just spinning. <laughs> oh wait, some stuff's coming out. I did this with a ramen video a while ago. I don't remember which Tupperware I used. Even June can't recreate June's kitchen recipes. Oh, well, it worked. Look. It's very easy. Ooh. Oh, I didn't have to do this much. It was very cracking right? Eh. Eh. Look at that. Nice. Normally you just go like that and peels off like this. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do all this stuff. <laughs> just wanted to try again. Did you want me? I could have gotten you a plate or something. <laughs> no, I need to wipe this color anyway. Done. Epic failure. It's beautiful. Temperature gap is important. When I wake up, first thing I do is eggs. So you like salt and pepper for your eggs? I like salt, sometimes I do with mayonnaise. Japanese mayonnaise. This or, is big salt and pepper. Yeah. I like... I sometimes like oyster sauce too. Oyster sauce? Oyster sauce, no. Oyster. It's Japanese Oyster? Sauce. Sister? Yeah, similar to that. Oyster? Mm, something like that. Oyster? <laughs> Mm. That's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah. Worcestershire. I don't know. <laughs> Worcestershire, I think. For smoothie, we normally put frozen banana. And frozen kale. You cannot taste the kale in these. 
It really just tastes sweet because of all the fruit and the soy milk. I mean, you can, but it's not that strong. It does get stuck all over your teeth. Uh, these were not poisoning enough. Basically kale juice. Kale juice. Smoothie. Yeah, thick smoothie. But you want ice, right? Oh, there's no ice? Yes. Oh no, dude. Yeah. R.I.P. You were supposed to like Aww. twist to get the ice out and it broke. Not that hard. <laughs> this was flexible. Not that flexible. Rachel mm. would likes her smoothie to be very thick. So yes, I do. She doesn't drink smoothie, she eats smoothie. I want to eat it like ice cream. When it's icing. Yeah. Today is a day where it's already getting late and we haven't had lunch. So, konbini lunch. Here's your what the heck? energy shot. This thing's huge. How, how much energy does this one have? I don't know. Am I going to be awake for forever? Does not have a lot of caffeine. I'm never going to sleep again. This does not have caffeine. Oh wait, there is. There's a lot of caffeine. Oh my god, Drew. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, ume. Ume is what? Japanese. Not plum. Plum. I got myself. Come on. It's like a bun and there's a uh, beef and some yep. veggies in it. But I don't know which one you like it better, so like <laughs> one each. Thanks. I did say I wanted two. That works perfectly fine. I'm gonna drink this energy shot because it will give me the energy to change out of these jammy pants. Let's go. Sad life pro tip. If you have like a cold or you get sick, in Japan, but you still gotta work. Nothing go to work, just work. Like maybe you gotta do stuff at home, energy shot, and then you don't feel sick for the rest of the day. I've done it a couple of times. That can't be healthy. <laughs> I mean, enjoy. They're expecting you to feed them. Pants. I put on pants too. Oh, yeah. Some days, putting on pants is an achievement. This is how you open Onigiri in Japan. These, it has a, a wrapper on the inside that stays between the rice and the nori, so the nori doesn't get wet or mushy. Same thing. Open it up. Cat inspection. It has to put some fur on you. When there you, eat you it. go. Check it out. The exact same food in two different forms. It's my lunch. I don't think I have a day where I don't eat snacks. <laughs> really? Right now, these are my three favorite things. This isn't even Japanese. Mm. Ozak is my favorite. Japanese potato chip. They're like fluffy and crispy. I normally don't like chocolate, but I love chocolate on pretzels. It's a little salty and it's amazing. You microwave popcorn and then you sprinkle a bunch of habanero powder on it and then you shake it up in the bag. Stomach cake powder. It. Japan doesn't have spicy snacks for me. Ramekin. Four slices of cheese. Salsa. Microwave. Mix, 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 mix. Microwave. Mix, 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 mix. Not enough salsa. Microwave. Mix, 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 mix. Paprika. Habanero powder. Mix, 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 mix. Microwave. Lowest possible wattage or it's gonna explode. Mix, 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 mix. Microwave. Mix, 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 mix. Spicy nacho cheese dip. Yeah. I don't think this is Japanese, Japanese popcorn. Well, the flavor is butter soy sauce. And I wanted to hear your opinion. Yeah, those are good. That's the thing I ate that got the popcorn kernel stuck in my gum, which I had to go to the dentist to have removed because yeah. I couldn't get it out. <laughs> so I think like more than half of these things that we just showed are not Japanese snacks. But if you want Japanese snacks, then boy, is today's sponsor for you. Boksu, yeah. <laughs> we have Boksu, which is a monthly Japanese snack box subscription service. They have themes every single month, so the snacks inside are different every time. Dun dun dun. Discover Japan. 
through snacks. You know. This box is shipped directly from Japan. I think this is a booklet of everything that's in this box. I think so. So they actually explain all of this stuff. That's really awesome. I didn't even know they did that. <laughs> yeah. That's unexpectedly cool. And a mame senbei. Senbei Never seen that before. Are rice crackers. This sounds like something June would love. It says here, Boksu slash Daimonji handcrafted candy. So uh, I guess when they say they work with traditional Japanese snack makers, like they work directly with them, meaning some of these are manufactured specifically for Boksu. Mm. That's pretty amazing. Yukigen Maicha. Oh, look! They show you where everything came from. This guy is cool. Oh, literally all over Japan. Yeah. So, hey guys, we used to live here in Aichi. Tokyo is up here. And now we live all the way down here in Fukuoka. Which snack is from Aichi? This one. Oh, this. <laughs> so, this one. I actually haven't seen this before in Aichi. You know, they said these are like premium hand selected snacks. And now I can see why. This is a lot of effort that goes into this box. This is really well done. I'm genuinely impressed. Oh wait, wait this on, is super mucho. I know super mucho. It's quick here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know this one and I know this one is good. It's really sour. Pear, look at that. That looks beautiful. And of course there is only one, so you'll eat it all. <laughs> no, I'll split them in half, dude. I'm not gonna eat them all myself. I'll share. So Boksu is a gourmet journey through Japan, literally, because they're giving you snacks from all over the country. All right, I'm gonna try some stuff. This pear one looks amazing. This looks, is this the apple one? Is this one from, hang on. I'm guessing this is Aomori. Aomori Ringo. Wait, yeah, it says Aomori. Caramel. <laughs> Aomori, uh, it's the northernmost prefecture on the main island Honshu. They're famous for apples. And witches. Witches? Yeah, witches. What? I'm sorry, that's just my favorite manga. Never mind. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I had it before. It's really good. Isn't this beautiful looking? It's white chocolate cookie. Oh, but I think it's pear flavored. Oh yeah? Yeah, pear. What's the word? Yeah. Yeah, let me try. This is amazing. Damn, dude. Okay, I thought he was gonna eat the whole thing and I was about to fight. <laughs> Mmm, I had it before. It's really good. Mmm. This is amazing. Oh my God, look at how much of this is sesame seeds. Sesame is one of my favorite flavors of anything. I'll eat sesame in any form. Sesame ice cream, ses sesame snacks. Sesame, I love sesame bread. Sesame bread. Oh, it's perfect. Vegetarian, yes. Slash no. Allergens. Flavors. This is really thoughtful. I hope we can keep working with them. This is... <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Rachel doesn't really like fake, fake. You guys know how picky I am. I do not fake reactions. <laughs> she doesn't. I have gagged in <laughs> our videos. If she says, yeah, she likes it, she means it. Seaweed tempura. Thanks. Sudachi. It was surprisingly citrusy. Mmm. I can't you know. read the bag. <laughs> you know, I like it. These are legit, very high quality snacks. Um, Rachel I can, approved. I can genuinely recommend this from the bottom of my heart. Yay. So it's great. To be completely 100% honest with you guys and with you, I was really scared because Rachel doesn't give to things that she doesn't like. If she doesn't like it, she'd tell us that she doesn't like it. I'm really glad you liked it. These are really good. <laughs> I would eat all of this. You can get 10% off your authentic Japanese snack box from Boksu using our link and code in the description box. If you're gonna buy from them, please use our link and code because then it lets Boksu know that people ordered via our sponsorship so they'll keep working with us. Now it's time to get back to our normal daily meals. Dinner time. Dinner time. So I think we'll make grilled veggies. Hot plate veggies. And salmon. Yes. Um, I mean, basically, cut veggies and just grill it. And then while it's grilling, I just leave and do whatever we want. Pinky. Are you meeting anyone? Do you want the garlic? What day is tomorrow? What day is today? I mean, do you want garlic? Yes. Okay. Can I have garlic? Yes. Yes. So, eringi, pumpkin, garlic, bell pepper, green pepper. Zucchini, potato, this, or bell pepper. 
onion, whatever this is. I forget the name of, again, salmon. Uh, shallot. Shallots. Atlantic salmon. What are we missing? Oh, aspar we're out of asparagus. We actually got asparagus. <gasps> Jane asparagus. Asparagus. And asparagus. Garlic oil, olive oil, homegrown herbs, rosemary, thyme, sage, and fennel. Mmm, smells good. Yeah. Okay, we will marinate with salt. This will take a while, mm. but it's really, really good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. For my ringi, I like that to be when it has a lot of oil and salt. So mm. thin, so I normally do that. Mm. It's got potatoes with skin on. Potatoes. And crispy. Yeah. Dun, All right, dun, 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 dun. almost done. The ones Yay. that are done in the oven stay warm. Ooh. And I'm gonna finish the salmon. It's and so I'm gonna start heating up with your grill pan. Dude, it looks amazing. A very crunchy outside and then very juicy inside. Salmon time. Salmon time. Go. Sounds great. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Excuse me. This is sushi grade salmon, so we could eat it raw if we wanted. Do your dinner. June, it looks amazing. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, These are super crispy. crispy. They're like potato chips. Mm. Thank you so much, June. Thank you. Love you. Love you.